Hello and welcome to Sharpie's Workshop. Uh, the brief for this one has come from the wife. Her precise words were either burn it or make it look modern. So I thought I'd have a go. It's nothing special, it's uh, a chipboard cupboard uh, with just a veneer on it. It's been battered and abused, but then again, it won't be in my workshop if it hadn't. So me and my lad set to and go out in the workshop. I took all the drawers out first and the drawer runners. And then I set two sanding the old uh, glue joints down so I could re-glue everything. Even the two drawers that were actually complete, uh, the fronts were coming away so I stripped them all down and re-glued them. Once I'd re-glued the drawers, uh, clamped them all up, I needed to make some new runners. So I just got some pallet wood and cut it down to inch by inch. Then I just cut them down to size and glued them and brad nailed them in place. I made it so the drawers actually ran across the top of the runner as opposed to running in the groove. I did all four drawers are the same as this one. After a lot of thought, I think this is going to need more than just a paint job to smart it up a little bit. So I think I'm going to cut the middle section out, the two end doors, and then maybe. Something like that for the middle doors. I decided I'm going to put it middle yet. So I started marking out the lines on the door uh, and I just couldn't find what looked right. So it's got about 30 lines on it. Brand new which one I was following. I ended up scribing a line on so I could easy to see.
And I did the same with the uh, other three doors. To tidy all the cuts up, I went round them all with a round over bit in the router. And in the back of the doors, I decided to use some wire netting I'd found in my scrap pile. So I had to router a rebate around the back to slot the wire netting in. Then once I got to that stage, it was a case of sanding, sanding and more sanding. I used some compressed air to make sure I got all the dust out the corners and then we could start with the good bit, sticking some finish on. I've been wanting to try this paint finish for a while. Uh, basically I'm going to put patches of yellow, red, blue, green and then lightly go over the top with a proper furniture paint. So that's the yellow done. And then the blue. And the red. And then the green. Uh, I'll put a touch of black in there and there as well. So once all that had dried, I come back and I started putting the finish on, which is a grey proper furniture paint. In places I just want to dry brush it, do it on very lightly so the colour underneath bleeds through. And this is the sort of finish I'm looking for. I realise it'll not be everybody's cup of tea. It's it's growing on me, I'll be honest. I did the drawer fronts and the unit the same. Right, 
Right, so now we've got to this stage. Just a matter of getting a light sand. This is uh, 240 grit. And then I drop down to 600 grit. Just to seal it all, or as best as possible, I use some beeswax. Once I've done that, I sanded the wire netting down, uh, sprayed it with some matte black and then just fastened it into the doors with some three mil strips of ply. And there we go, one completed door. I think it looks quite nice. Bought these knobs off uh, eBay. Uh, quite nice. Ceramic little things, they're all different colours and different designs. So if we just remind us what the unit looked like before and and this is where it looks like now. I must say, I didn't think I was going to like this uh, when it was finished, but uh, I do, I actually quite like it. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, so that's it for this one. If you want to like, subscribe, do all the other nice things, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.